I said I would never big her up after how bad she's buried me over the past two no, months. Lana's pretty. Lana holds up even more mm. in real life than she does Lana's on the internet. Lana's she's like pretty. an actually she beautiful is. looking girl. And I just want to say right now, I wish nothing but the best for and her. But which made it even harder when you faced the, the tough realization <laughs> that y'all are just, it was never going to work and you were not a good fit. Which is fine, by the way. It's that's completely how most fine. Relationships dude, listen, man. Yeah. I hate reading the shit that's like, oh my god, Mike is such an idiot for fucking it up. It's like, bro, she's super hot, and I'm sure that she that there's a guy out there that she would get along amazingly a with. Percent. I don't think it's you. Friend. I'm that's gonna be real. I just don't really th- think it's listen, you. Listen, let me explain this quickly. We had two to three months of good honeymoon level relationship where we we're like, mm. this is fun, like this is great, this is happening, and then one year of some of the most toxic sludge of relationship ever where you know uh in between breakup is he are we broken up are we together should he be fucking should i be fucking horrible ho- just terrible right mm. toxicity toxic toxicity toxicity the whole time both of us trying to like figure it out make it work because i care about her i want to see her succeed and she looked at me as like this lifelong partner but at the end of the day it just didn't work out. Right. We didn't mesh properly. The way I always explained it to her was, and, and especially now in the end, I've explained it to her, was like, you're a round hole, I'm a square peg. Mm. It ju- we just don't mesh right now. And maybe in the future, things change, and I, be- I become weathered, and my square peg becomes rounded, and we could try it again, right? But the worst thing that ever happened was here at the end now, I said we could, tr- we could try to be friends. Oh, yeah. You can't do that right now. Bro, off the not rip. right off the rip. No, and what happened yet. was the, the lines blurred completely. She was talking, she was trying to find love with other dudes and telling me the details of those ex- escapades. Oh, you don't need to hear that. Yeah. Which that did not feel good for me. She was finding out that I was hooking up with girls and it was a very messy situation. And so that led to this pros and cons list. Who sent her the Let list? Me, David, my videographer. Okay. So here's the deal. Long story short. The way I feel about life and relationships. You didn't send her that list. No, oh. she, we, he's blocked. So, so let me explain this really quick on the blocking thing. She's been. <laughs> I sh- I've had her blocked for months now on social media, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Okay. Uh, and then on the phone, we've continued to talk. We were. Fr- I mean, we've been friends now for a while and still hooking up. But like she. She got surgery two weeks ago. Yeah, and you took care of her. I took care of her the whole time. I was at the house feeding the dogs, cleaning up dogs. Like real surgery? Yeah, plastic surgery. Oh, okay. I was cleaning the dog shit off the patio, hosing it down, feeding the dogs, taking her to the doctor's appointments, buying her fruit at the store, taking care of her because she's my fucking homie. And I respect her and I don't care what happens. She's at home like, I don't want to be your homie. No, she doesn't. Now she hates me. (laughs) And 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 so what happened was a bunch of more dramatics happened. It led to us, her blocking me. And all I wanted to do was, okay, so the way I am as a person, if I get fired from a job or someone says, y'all don't fuck with you anymore, I want to know every single reason why. I want to know what I did right and what I did wrong so that next time I'm in that situation, I could do a better fucking job. Hmm. I made the mistake and the assumption that she was the same kind of person as me. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have fucking sent it. She she didn't need it, deserve it. It was unwarranted and it was stupid for me to send it. Hmm. And so that's where we're at and now. You know, she's pissed off, but but like I was saying before, I care about that girl deeply. I think she's an incre- she is an incredible girl, a beautiful girl, and quite literally the only thing I want is is to see her succeed, find love, find the things that she wants in life to 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 be good. I have mm. no animosity towards her and I just I literally hope the best for her. Let me give you a hip hop metaphor here. She's offset and you're Cardi B. Like when they got together, Offset is the fucking guy from the Migos. He's huge. Cardi B is like on Love and Hip Hop. She's doing her thing on social media, but she's like down here compared to him. Yeah. And then over time, she becomes the biggest fucking rapper in the world. And Offset is still Offset, but she's the biggest fucking rapper in the world. And that kind of fucks up the <laughs> dynamic. And when I look at you guys, I think like early on in the relationship, you were not as big and you had less going on from a business perspective, but you were super motivated. And I think she thought that was great. But I think maybe over time she started to realize this ambition's not going anywhere. This is a guy who's going to be fighting to be what he can be for as long as he can. And that does not really involve a lot of sitting on the couch watching Netflix, which I feel like she, I feel like she's more that kind of she's person. Done. She's, she's done. Bro, she's chilling, made her money. Know? She's right. out. She's out of that industry. She's working on her podcast. And more than anything, she wants someone that can fulfill her in a romantic way and really be there for her and, and put all of their eggs into that basket and really be there to support and love her. And, and you know, in, in a lot of ways, I, that 
we just simply put, like, without getting once again too far into it, we just didn't mesh. We just did not mesh Listen, for a long time. What you just said, too, yeah. goes back to the comment section of any fucking social media. Who's commenting? It's kids yeah. who don't have relationship experience, like you just said. And this is why we're such good friends. I can relate to you on so many different things, so many issues. We share a lot of the same opinions. When Alyssa and I broke up, you're a fucking idiot for mm -hmm. fucking that up. I can't believe you'd break up with this girl. I can't believe you fucking would do this and that and this and that. And it's like people just don't. These fucking people are common in this. A lot of them are young. A lot of them have zero relationship experience and don't understand that. We're actually fucking real people. Mm -hmm. And you guys were essentially living together, right? Yeah. Me and my chick living together. Like, at the end of the day, like, we're in a real fucking relationship. And it's not all about... Views and there's clicks so many factors that people she's, don't she's understand. Hot. She's yeah. hot. That shit carries you through the first few months, and then they're just a normal person in your life, like your fucking brother, sister, their family. They're just like a friend. You don't, you, you stop looking at them as like this fucking unattainable. But when you're 17 thing. or 18 and you're in a relationship, yeah, yeah. you have no perspective <laughs> yeah. on what else yeah. is out there. Yeah. And then as you get older, it's much easier to sort of swallow the bitter pill and say like, all right, you know what? We had an amazing six months. We had whatever. But realistically, this doesn't seem like it's going to work out. And the, the great part is that there's five million other women on earth and maybe one of them would want to be with me. And as you get older, your priorities shift and you start to realize that like, I would maybe trade a couple points on what a girl looks like for, for this or whatever. Just yeah. having a fucking healthy relationship and being happy and laughing every day and that's you know what I mean. I just I just also just suck at um at that exit. I mm. suck and you can relate to this as well. Like yeah. it's so well, hard it, for well, me it gets to like cut and tricky with the fucking French, social media uh, in, the, shit. in the French it's, in the friendship yeah, phase yeah. where you're like, well, maybe we could be homies yeah. and still fuck because but you like, did build a relationship mm. together. It sucks to be like, okay, we just fucking spent every day for Peace. the last couple years together. Never talking to you again. Sad. It's sad. super sad. At what yeah. point in all this did you lie and say you jerked off into a condom? Uh, That's one of my favorite lies fuck. ever, for the record. Like, that, that is the best lie ever. I jerked, I jerked off into a condom, something that no one would ever do. <laughs> I did that when I was a little kid. Too. Yeah, we all just talked about it. And we all said that. that we that we all did it too. like one time in our Bro, life. Bro, so yeah. so <laughs> one thing. Okay, so one thing in the relationship was it was always built on um, telling the truth, mm -hmm. and and even when I fucked up. And even when she did fucked up, we always told each other the truth, mm. which is amazing. And, and and that was the one thing we had that like loyalty and that truth. Hood. When I fucked, up, I've I've had some mistakes, and I've and I've uh, and said, yo, I fucked up. I did something I shouldn't have done. Whatever. Right? Shout out Ava. Right. Oh my god. No, that was continue on. Okay, so, oh so 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 um, but uh, but but that was the first time where I found myself lying, uh. and that felt so outside of me. And even and even the, it lasted thirty seconds before I was like, okay, here's the real deal. Mm, okay. But even that feeling what of was the lie. What would you say? I, I jerked I, off in a condom. Th that was one of like 50 excuses. That was David's mm. condom. That was a condom from a girl from three nights ago, whatever. But like just the idea that I was starting to feel that kind of way of like trying to get out of fights and like do these things to try to adjust so that we didn't go back down that road was just another s sign to me that like it had run its course, mm. you know? And, and so, and listen, yeah, it just really sucks, both, man. Again, from somebody, from a perspective of someone who spent like time with these people off camera. You guys really are both great people. Like, you really are a great fucking dude. Don't give a fuck what people think about you on the internet. And despite, like, what she's done, people have their hardcore fucked up opinions about her. And she really is a sweet girl. And she's she, incredible. She's great loyal girl. and she's fucking, she really did love you. And she's a fucking, you know what I mean? You guys just didn't work and there's, that's completely normal. It, mm. th there doesn't have to be a fucking a villain in the in the story. You know what I'm saying? But, but they're it always, but they're always, unfortunately, there always will be because of high profile relationships and I'll be honest with you in, in today's climate it's always going to be the dude mm -hmm. and that's why yeah. and that's why like I wasn't going to like you know we're having an open conversation about it but I wasn't going to put out like a tweet or like a response like that because I'm I can't win like this isn't something I can win <clears throat> and, this is and what nor I nor should too. I even nor this should I even what? try to it's like I'm just going to keep on trucking I, the only thing I can say once again is that I just want her to win. I'm going to always be there rooting, being like, yo, I hope she fucking has the best podcast. I hope whoever she's with next loves the shit out of her because she fucking deserves it and is loyal and is loving and is caring and she deserves all of that And stuff. you're not just saying that. You I'm not, that. I you thoughly, say that when there's thoroughly no fucking on, believe that. that. I say that all the fucking time. She's an incredible person. I, I honestly just want Because if she really like moves on and ends up in a happy relationship and if you do the same, then you guys being be cool, yeah, yeah, being yes. friends is a realistic Yes, at yes, this moment, yes. like you guys just kicking it or whatever, it's just not gonna work because yeah. you, you guys the, the feelings it's are too true. raw, you know? It's true, it's true. Mm -hmm.
how do you feel about her like <clears throat> taking to social media with it posting that that pros and cons list and stuff just hurt, it just hurts man mm. it hurts bro it, it, it's uh it's upsetting you know what i'm saying and and regardless of like should i have done this or should i have sent that list or like those little micro things people do things when their heart's involved people yeah, do things facts, when their heart's involved facts. i maybe that day i was feeling like yo maybe we could reconcile mm. maybe if she knew how i feel about the relationship those weren't meant to be disses right. those were meant for me to say yo this is why i fuck with you and these are the things that i wish we could work on you know what I'm saying? Breaking and, and up hurts so bad that of course you're gonna like get right up close to yeah. it and just be like, "Fuck it, I give up. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna tough it out again." But then you know you do the next couple of weeks together, and then something else happens, and it's like you slowly become callous to it to well, the that's point where, where you can are, actually you make it into fucking, it. You are in the heat of it right now, in the middle of it, and that's why I give you the advice that I give you. It's just, it's always. Uh, Despite any fucking drama, obviously when you're with somebody for so long, mm. you find out intimate details about them that they don't necessarily want the fucking world to know about. You have right. conversations with them that you trust that they're not going to share with everybody and you're not going to share. With. It's just that mutual yeah, that trust. Hurt, that hurt. That hurt. And that's, I, I can relate to why that would hurt. But that's why I've told you, like, listen, no matter what happened with Alyssa and all that stuff, I was I fucking made it made up my mind in my head that I was not gonna I was not gonna address things on like such an intimate and detailed level online ever because fuck that we were together we were a real relationship we really loved each other and we'll always have love for each other forever like right. you guys have a fucking bond with each other I don't feel I, I don't even not, know anymore because I still I would never do that to her like mm. I would never do that to her and 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 but people say deal, anything people, that was I know yeah you're hurt, right bro. and she hurt, and, and listen I have hurt. like especially over the past couple weeks I like have started to move on with my life and I've started to, you know, do videos with girls and like make other content because that's the realm that I exist and that's my business. Emily Willis back in the thumbnail. But it was, yeah. I mean, and, and, and honestly, and that was, did you see that video? Yeah. He did you think stuck was, in the dryer? That's yeah, that was genius. Funny. Yeah. Genius. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I bro, but, but like, but like that was the content I was making prior to Lana, you right. know what I'm saying? That was the stuff that I was making. So like now I'm back to doing that kind of content and clearly like that, didn't sit well she's you know just, what i'm saying hurt. and that's i understand that and it. i understand that but i just wish like i don't know so sometimes i sit here and just think like yo could i have done different could done it differently or like mm. you know it's pointless just what you the way that you feel right now is the best way to feel wish her the best be there for her. i mean you're still fucking there for her bro anything like she said, ever needed she got, but now even after this <clears throat> even after this like if she hit me up and was like, "Yo, like that didn't go down the way it should have. Like I, I fucked, like I fucked up. I shouldn't have, like tried to expose you or do that kind of stuff." I would still be like, "Yo, I got you. Mm -hmm. Like if you need a ride to the doctor, if you need to call me because you're hurting or you're upset or you're sad or some dude fucked you over, I'm always gonna be there for you. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you do. Mm -hmm. And you're the same fucking yeah, way. Yeah. I know you are. Yeah, yeah. And like if Alyssa hit you up and was yeah. like, "Yo, I need you right it's now. Happened. I'm in. We've I'm in talked. a really it's bad ha spot. But it just this is the first time where I've ever felt like, damn, like I don't know if that's reciprocal." Mm -hmm. And that hurts because I, she's always been there for me. She's always been there for me when I was down and out to like, even when we weren't talking, if I was like, yo, I got into some shit with Logan. I need to come see you like to crash. I need a friend, whatever. She's always been there. And this was the first time where I felt like that fucking, that dagger really fucking hurt Your headphones me, are on the wrong way. It's bothering me. Please switch them around. I it's always, have the, cord, thing, I always have the cord to the right side oh, on impulsive. I do. So, I mean, I, it's, it's really a thing. It's an OCD thing for me. And I think like now I need to move into this place in life where I do things for other people. The comments, <laughs> the comments will probably let you know as well. I love you. Buddy. I, I no, I do. I need to start thinking about all of the other factors. I, okay. You're a good friend. This, you got my back. This bro, is an so important question. This, this is an important question. And I think it might be instructional for her as well. What's your nightmare scenario in terms of her moving on? Moving on? Is it like <laughs> little baby? Too, nah, is, is it too, a TikTok guy? No, because if I say this, if she really was an like malicious okay, person, okay, so say she the would opposite go, of no, what you no, really no, think. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't even want to touch. <laughs> if you're anything like me, bro, bro, bro. if you're anything like me, it's a friend. You don't have oh, yeah. to. But, but I'd rather. Nice but I'd rather. Girlfriend. You're gonna no. find out who the snakes are, Mike. Uh, yeah, facts. Mm. But I. But you always do after in times like. I mean, technically, we already. No one. No, he wasn't. He actually. Oh wasn't. man! But if, uh, if I broke up with my girl and a rapper fucked her, I'm 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 not even gonna be able to be mad at the rapper because there's so many rappers that don't like me that it's like, oh, okay, well that was <laughs> fair enough. Like I knew you were gonna do that. No, so. but I'd rather look at it the other way and be like, yo, like what's your dream scenario? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just the vibe I'm on with her because like, yo, honestly, like that is like a quite literally she is like a fit. She's the only girl I've dated in a decade. Yeah. Oh, Think about what I'm saying mm -hmm. right now. I've had no other. I've had a ton of 
girls that I've hooked up with, but I've never spent that kind of intimate relationship with someone that we're at where we had a shared love for each other. Mm. So my dream scenario is that she finds someone that that cares about her the way she needs to be cared for, bro, and and finds a love that is meaningful and 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 produces whether it's a kid or a house or a happy home and and also gives her that boost of like self esteem and worth that she needs. That she I needs could see her as an NBA you know wife. Saying? Yeah, me too. Oh, okay, I hope good, that is. Yeah. You know Let's what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I hope. It, I hope that is the case. You know, and I would have. And I would. And I'm just rooting for her, bro. That's it. You're a yeah. good guy, Mike. You're a good dude. Shout out, Lana. And you'll get through all this bullshit. 